if we want to praise somebody, the best praise is not, oh, you are very tall like an elephant, you know. Or the praise is not, you are very thin like a camel, no. The praise is always in terms of intelligence. He is a very intelligent person. Ah, he feels good. If you want to hurt somebody, don't have to say anything about body, etc. He is a beokuf, enough. <laughs> because all of us unknowingly respect, unknowingly respect wisdom. These are the two aspects of our life. One is expression of life and second is the foundation on which the expression depends. Like the expression is that of dynamism, sacrifice. Foundation is either devotion to the Lord or the country or vengeance, cruelty. See? So on what basis our life is best? Then we all unanimously agree that the life is wonderful if we lead our life in the light of wisdom. Wisdom is light, it's not heavy. All the great masters who lived in this world, they are termed as wise people. And rest of the people are called as other wise people. <laughs> Wise people are those who never become miserable, first principle. So if we have to lead our life in the light of wisdom, this should be a natural expression of our life. Under all conditions, remain cheerful and happy. <coughs> and for that, ideal is Bhagwan Sri Krishna. When Arjun was crying on the battlefield, Katam Vishma Maam Sange Dronam Jamadu Sudhana Shubhi Pradiyod Shami Puja Ravari Sudhana This is how Arjuna spoke to Bhagavan Krishna. I was there. <laughs> but this Gita chanting fellows, Katam Vishma Maam Sange Dronam Jamadu Sudhana Shubhi Pradiyod Shami Puja Ravari Sudhana This was not the tone. See, the words must carry the meaning and the spirit. So, when Arjun was constantly crying, 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 to that crying Arjun, Bhagavan Krishna did not join in a Jugal Bandi. He did not become miserable, but he was expounding all the wisdom only through smile. Prasan Iva Bharata. Life is complete only if happiness is expressed. The other day I told you, if you remember, my God's grace you must have forgotten. <laughs> See? Existence, existence plus life, existence plus life plus knowledge, existence plus life plus knowledge plus happiness. Four stages. These are the stages through which we evolve. Stones are only existence. Plants plus life. Animals plus uh, knowledge. Human beings plus happiness. See, if happiness is not manifested through our life, then we are reverting back towards the stone age and therefore wisdom is directly proportionate to how much happy you are during the day. See, the other day I was in one university in a management uh, you know, class and they asked me to speak on HR, HRD. HRD means hard. So I said, hey, what is this HRD you are asking me? I don't know. They said, Swami, you don't know. It is human resource development or something like that. 
I said, okay, I thought it is happy relations. See, human beings are not a resource. Human beings we have to relate with. And wherever there is happiness in the relationship, you are fulfilled in life.